everyone, I'm Stephanie Arney and this is my tiny house. This tiny house is up for sale right now and let me tell you why you should want to buy it. This tiny house has been all over the country, has had 50,000 people visit it all on a nationwide tour called the Creative Animal Tour. This house was made by 84 Lumber and featured on HGTV's Tiny House Big Living. Right away, you might see that there's some, some rubbing that happened on this house. We sanded down the logo that was there for the Creative Animal Tour. Up here is the storage and it has Andavia roofing on it, which is made from recycled paper products and asphalt. Get a good look inside, you'll see that it does hold a lot. We have a lot of suitcases, camping gear, uh, scuba diving gear, just fishing stuff. All fits inside. And on the other side of the house, you're gonna get your water and electrical hookups. If you follow me over to this side of the home, you'll see our very wonderful windows, which allow for a lot of privacy and they block a lot of the sunlight, which helps with temperature inside. We have electrical outlet here, and this is how you put fresh water into the 36 gallon fresh water tank that's on the other side of this wall inside the house. Speaking of inside the house, let's go check it out. All right, welcome in. My favorite part of this tiny house is 100% the ceiling. It provides a lot of space and a lot of natural light. I love it so much. Everything in here is run on electrical. That includes the refrigerator, the hot water pump, the induction stove. The hot water heater is also gonna heat up the shower, which we'll get to in a little bit. You have a really deep sink here, which is fantastic. You can cover it with the butcher block because believe it or not, this entire counter space is made to be a butcher block. You just have to treat it as such. Extra, extra space for prepping, right? There's also a junk drawer, a silverware drawer, which I organized just for you. We have a Breville oven. You can get yourself whatever you really want. Um, here's our fridge, storage space in our pantry. The washer and dryer hookups are down here and then space for uh, garbage and our dog food. As you can see, there's also a lot of counter and shelf space to help you with storage. On the front part here, this is where you organize all of your wonderful shoes that you have. They can all be stored in here. And believe it or not, I've actually had way more shoes in here than this. I tried to clean it up for you. And you'll notice too, there's latches and that's because we were pulling this thing around just like a camper. So things had to be secured. Here's the couch area. Now I know there's not a cushion. You can do what you will with this in terms of design and comfort. We had a really big cushion here for a long time and a lot of pillows. But here is the most amazing storage space. We were so grateful for this. We kept it as open as possible, especially because we work in film and photography. So we have a lot of different shaped items that needed to fit in there, but you could convert this into a bed or any other type of storage you desire. Uh, over in this corner is our office space. You can make a photo collage here. This could be your stand-up desk, an amazing organization for your personal and professional life. Down here is where that 36 gallon fresh water tank is, along with even more storage. And here is the bathroom. There is a pull out door here, a full size shower. My husband's 6'1", he does fine in there. We have another vanity made from the wood. That's the same wood on the outside of the home. And then this is fun. It's a pail from a horse ranch. And then of course there's a composting toilet, but of course you can install any toilet you wish. This space is pretty fantastic. You don't get this space in a lot of tiny houses. My husband used this as his art studio. The electrical box is here. And then extra storage underneath the stairs. We used it as a coat closet. And then this is a ladder up to the loft. All right. Up here is our loft. I love waking up 
in the morning here and seeing all the windows and the beautiful ceiling and the natural light coming in, it's awesome. There's also three windows to help with some air circulation and two lights at the end for light. We have a lot of storage on either side of the bed to store our clothing as well as a bar up here to hang our clothes. And um, there's two secret storage bins in here that's built into the loft, which is pretty fun. It's a queen size bed, but I bet if you removed this storage over here, you could fit a king. All right, couple more things I wanna show you. Here is a little space if you wanna have books or knickknacks or whatever, whatever you wanna use there. And then of course we have the cool secret drop down storage. We got two. All right, that's it. That's the end of our 200 square foot tiny house tour. Thank you so much for watching.